Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a tetrahedron of 55 mm sides resting on one of its corners such that the edge containing this corner is inclined to HP at an angle of 50 degrees and the same edge is also inclined to VP at an angle of 30 degrees. And we need to draw the projections of this tetrahedron. So from the previous video, we have understood that a tetrahedron is nothing but a equilateral triangular pyramid that means the base of the pyramid is an equilateral triangle and from each of the edges of this equilateral triangle we have the equilateral triangular faces all the three meeting at a common point called as the apex so with this data we will consider to draft the solution for this problem so once we start drafting the solutions we can just do the measurements and decide with respect to the vp do we need to construct a beta angle or not so first let us begin with constructing a line of thickness 0.18 mm let us draw a line of any arbitrary length and then annotate this line which is having an angle of 0 degrees or 180 degrees as x and y and also the reference planes as vp and hp where the front and the top views are recorded respectively so now we'll consider constructing the top view of the tetrahedron so select the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and next proceed with drawing the edge length which is equal to 55 mm so we need to have the corner towards the right hand side of the observer so we have taken the edge opposite to that corner so the edge length is 55 and the angle of inclination is 30 with respect to the waistline starting from this point and here we'll complete the equilateral triangle so you can see that it is 55 that is the edge length and 150 degrees so the interior angles must measure 60 degrees so this indicates that it is an equilateral triangle so we can just verify so this is 60 degrees and this is 60 and next this angle has to be 60 degrees so now with this data we shall consider drawing the equilateral triangular faces from each of these edges so for that select the midpoint option from the interly sketch click ok so from the corner join the midpoint of the opposite edge so repeat this step for all the three corner points so the point of intersection of these three lines will be the indication of the origin of the axis and also We'll use the trim option now to get only the triangular faces that is required to us. So these are the three triangular faces from each of the edges. So this is the top view of the tetrahedron, which is having its edge equal to 55 mm and it is resting on one of its corners on the HP. So now let us annotate the top view. So let us assume that it is resting on one of its corner A this is the corner B and this is the corner C and also we have got O as the apex and O1 as the center point of the base of the pyramid so this is the annotation so now let us proceed towards drawing the front view so select the line of thickness 0.13 we can just keep the midpoint off or else the midpoint for every line that we construct will be shown so just draw a line from each of the corner to intersect the x y line also let us draw a line from the apex to get the axis line so this completes the drawing of the projections so now let us complete the front view so select the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and connect all the endpoints of the projection lines to get the base of the tetrahedron so now we do know from the previous problem that for the tetrahedron the axis will not be equal to 55 mm as it was in case of the hexahedron or the cube but one of its slant edges will be appearing as 55 mm because it is the slant edge of the triangular face that is equal to 55 mm and not the axis so for that purpose what we can do is select a line of thickness 0.13 mm and draw the axis line of any arbitrary point from the point 001 now let us select the line option again select the continuous line of thickness 0 0.50 select arc by center point so from this point that is 
the end point of the line from the projection A. Let us draw a radius to intersect this axis line and the radii will be equal to 55 mm which is the length of the slant edge. So just cut an arc and from the point of intersection of this axis line and the arc let us try to connect it back to the end point of the projection from the point A. Similarly connect it with the point C. So this completes the front view of the tetrahedron. Use the trim option. Use the trim option and trim this part of the curve. And now let us annotate the front view. So this is the corner A dash and this is the corner B dash and C dash. So B dash is visible to the observer outside the bracket and C dash is not visible to the observer. So inside the bracket and this is the axis origin point O1 dash and this is the apex of the tetrahedron which is O dash. So with this we complete the front view of the tetrahedron. So you can just see that the slant edge is measuring 55 mm as per the required construction method. So now the next point is the edge containing the corner on which it is resting. So it is the corner or uh, the edge we can consider it as OA. So this OA is inclined to the HP at an angle of 50 degrees. So, so to construct this part, let us select the front view of the tetrahedron along with the annotations. Select the move option, ensure the copy is on. So keeping the first point of selection as the corner A dash, just move this towards the right hand side of the XY line, ensuring the base is on the XY line itself. Now let us go for the rotate option, ensure the copy is off. So the first point of rotation will be A dash and the second point of rotation is O dash. So we'll just try to ensure that it is resting initially on the HP like this. So now let us try to understand how it is rotated. So first point of rotation is A dash, second point of rotation is O dash. So this edge is inclined to the HP at an angle of 50 degrees. So this is the technique that is to be followed to ensure that this edge that is containing the corner on which it is resting is making an inclination of 50 degrees with respect to the HP. So just select the move option, ensure the duplicate is off and just drag this towards the left hand side so that there is sufficient place left for us to construct the third position. And just try to shuffle all this above the XY line. So now you can just use the angle between and measure the slant edge with respect to the HP. It is 50 degrees as per the given problem statement. So now draw the projection lines from each of the points and as well as the apex. So select a line of thickness 0.13 mm and draw the projection lines. Select a line of thickness 0.13 mm and draw all the vertical projection lines and then intersect them with the horizontal projection lines. So now let us complete the top view of this tetrahedron. So we know that the point A is the farthest point for the observer when he is looking from this direction. So select a line of thickness 0.50 mm. So let us start with uh, the edge which is the outer edges which is visible to the observer. So that is from C to B. This is the point of intersection and then join this to the apex that is C and B to the apex. Now let us consider the hidden lines. So from the point A, which is the farthest point, A to O will be the dotted line. Similarly, A to C will be the dotted line and then A to B will be the 
dotted line so you can just see that this is the top view of the tetrahedron when it is inclined that is the edge containing the resting corner is inclined to hp at an angle of 50 degrees so use the trim option to trim the projection lines which are not part of the constructions so this is the top view that we have completed so now let us do the annotation so this is uh, the apex o of the tetrahedron this is the point a while this is the corner c this is the corner b and then here we have got the axis point that is o1 so use the trim option again to trim all this projection lines beneath the hidden lines so this completes the second position so now the vp uh, inclination is again the same edge which is containing this corner is inclined to vp at an angle of 30 degrees but what we can observe here is in the first position it is equal to 55 mm but here in this position oa has been reduced to 35.35 mm so we are going to consider an entity which has reduced its dimension as the parameter to be inclined with respect to the vp so here we need to consider constructing a beta angle so now let us see how to construct the beta angle so for that the procedure is select a line of thickness 0.13 mm let it be a continuous line so draw a line of any arbitrary length initially and from any arbitrary point on that line consider drawing a line of length 55 mm and incline at an angle of phi that is 30 degrees with respect to the line so from the end point construct the locus line so from the end point of this line let us draw the locus line now let us go for arc by center point so from this point let us try drawing an arc of length 35.35 mm and try to intersect that with the locus of this point O1. So from the point of intersection of the locus and the axis line, join it back to the initial point of reference. And then let us see, this is the angle which is equal to phi that is 30 degrees. And then this angle will be equal to 51 degrees which is the beta angle so beta angle is 51 degrees here so to have a better understanding this is the point o this is the point o1 from the first position that is 55 mm the initial uh, edge length which is containing the corner a and then this arc is having a measurement of 35.35 from the top position of the second position okay so this is the locus of o1 and this point is O1 from second position. So I'll call it as O12. So now let us go for completing the next position. So we shall draw a line which is inclined to the VP at an angle of 51 degrees. That is the beta angle. So this is the line which is inclined at an angle of 51 degrees on which we are going to incline this edge that is OA. So the top view of the tetrahedron. So we have selected all the outer and the inner edges along with the axis OO1 and the annotations. Now let us go for the move option, make a copy of this and then place the point O on the 51 degree line and now go for the rotate option, ensure the copy is off. So the first point of rotation is O and the second point of rotation is A because it is the edge that is containing the corner on which it is resting which is inclined to VP. Okay, so it appears to be inclined at an angle of 51 degrees. So we have completed the third position also. So we'll just ensure the copies off and try to move this a bit upward so that the corners are not moving away from the page. So this is the completed position so now we shall draw the projection lines from this position to get the front view so we shall draw the horizontal projection lines first 
O1 and B C will be having a very small difference between the two and next from O1 A is on the XY line so now O1 we shall just try to intersect the vertical and the horizontal projection lines so the point O is here the corner A is on the XY line the corner C is on the topmost horizontal projection line similarly the corner B is also on the topmost projection line so we have considered all the corners and the axis points go for the trim option and trim the projection lines which are not a part of the constructions okay so we need to extend the o dash till here and b is here c is here okay so now we can complete the front view so select the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so from the apex a we shall join the apex uh, or the corner points first so from a we'll consider joining the corner c from corner c it is the corner b and then corner B to corner A and similarly we have got the other triangular faces that has to be shown so what we will do is from the corner A we have to join it to the apex that is uh, O dash which is here and then B to O is here and from C to O it will be a dotted line because we don't know that two thick lines shall not intersect so c dash to o will be a dotted line and then let us try to complete this by drawing the axis line select the line of thickness 0.13 so from o1 to o is here so complete this use the trim option to trim the projection lines which are not a part of the construction so here you can see that the tetrahedron is resting on one of its corner and also the edge containing that corner is inclined to HP at an angle of 50 degrees and to VP at an angle of 30 degrees but appears to be inclined at an angle of 51 degrees so let us complete the projection uh, by annotating the views so this is the corner A dash which is on the XY line followed by the corner C dash this is the corner B dash and this is the apex O this is the axis point O1 dash this is O dash so with this we have completed the projection so we can indicate the direction of the projections by using the leader options to sum up we have a tetrahedron of side 55 mm resting on one of its corner that is the corner a here on the hp and then this is the top view and this is the front view so in the front view you can just see that the axis will not be equal to 55 mm but one of its slant edges will be equal to 55 mm and the edge that is containing this corner that is oa will be inclined to the hp at an angle of 50 degrees and also it appears to be inclined at an angle of 51 degrees though the given angle is phi since there is a change in the dimension of O dash to A dash from the first position to the second position, we need to construct the beta angle here and then complete the projection. Thank you all for watching.